next year would finally be shipping in stable release where you can create an output of a page in Next.js where there is no JavaScript, where is, there is zero JavaScript. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to give my five predictions for Next.js 12 when it will be released. Next.js is going to be releasing its new version very soon in a few days. And the tickets for the conference are already out, the virtual conference, which you can claim for free. But when you claim those tickets, you're gonna see that a teaser appears where you can change the color of your ticket, which also reveals some sort of feature which we can expect in the next year's conf. Let's look at my five predictions based on what I saw there that would be released in next year's. Also, if you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive daily updates on programming, web development and full stack development and how to become a better developer in general. Let's go. This video is a part of Codedam's t-shirt giveaway program for the month. If you want to take part and win an amazing Codedam t-shirt, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video about what you think and that's it, you are eligible. If your comment gets a heart from Codedam, you will win a t-shirt for absolutely free. My first prediction is that next year's will bring support for Rust and that is for compilation part, you would not, as a developer, you would not be using Rust, obviously, anywhere in your code. It will just be there in the next year's code to speed up the compilation because Rust is used in SWC and SWC is a new TypeScript compiler, which is coded in Rust. And the author of SWC is an employee of Vercel. So that connects a lot of dots and we are pretty sure to see that Rust would have some sort of role to play in Next.js 12. My second prediction is around use SWR library from Next.js, from Vercel, I think. And use SWR is a competing library for React Query, which pretty much does the same job as what React Query does. In fact, with a less number of features, but it is compact and they have just released their version one a stable release. So maybe in the conference, they would be talking more about this, or maybe they would be introducing some new big changes to the library. The second one is little unlikely. Most likely they would be releasing the version one in a, in a grand manner or in a grand way somehow. But it will be interesting to see if they have any sort of new feature planned for use SWR library. My third prediction on their lighthouse hint is that next year would finally be shipping in stable release where you can create an output of a page in Next.js where there is no JavaScript, where is, there is zero JavaScript. In Next.js, it is still possible to serve your pages without any JavaScript runtime. That is using unstable underscore runtime JS flag in Next.js. But this is like the flag name says, it's an unstable feature, it's not stable. So we are hoping to see that now you would be finally able to create truly JavaScript-less Next.js apps using Next.js, which is, it sounds ironic, but it's good for the performance and the health of your Lighthouse score. My fourth prediction for Next.js is that these guys will now introduce programmatic, incremental, static generation of the pages and revalidation of the pages. What does that mean? That means that let's say you have a page which is generated server-side and it's not server-side rendered, it's server-side generated. That means you just refresh that page at most once every 10 minutes but sometimes there is a use case some blog post updated or something happened where you need to immediately flush the changes and with next year that option is not available at least right now so we can see a programmatic way of flushing that cache and regenerating that page again within Vercel within next year's in Next.js 12. Finally, I do believe Next.js is gonna make a lot of more progress, a lot of new announcement in the Next.js Live, which is a feature which they revealed in the last release, which just gave some live collaboration power to Vercel deployments of Next.js. That means if you have deployed your project on Vercel, you can use a single link to share your project with your designers, with your coders, and everyone on that link would be able to code and you know have multiple courses and so on, which was the theme of next year's last conference, right? But yeah, they would be making some more progress on that. Maybe some new features, maybe some new functionalities, but it will be around the collaborative part of coding and multiple courses and designing and stuff like that. There's a final bonus point which I want to talk about, and that is next year's edge. So in one of the ticket colors, they tease about edge as well. And that got me thinking because Next.js pretty much runs most of the things on Edge anyway. 
their bundles, the JavaScript, the CDNs, that pretty much everything is Edge. They do have Lambdas at the Edge support as well. So I'm wondering what this Edge could be. I think in my opinion, this might be possible that Next.js is probably opening its serverless functions at Edge for everyone. That might be one thing which would speed up serverless functions a lot or it could be something which is completely new like some native you know first class support with some database which supports Vercel and Next.js at Edge, Planet Scale, I don't know like the possibilities are there but there are few possibilities I can really think of and see that these are practical these sound practical so for me i think one of the most interesting parts which i would be looking at is what they do at the edge because doing something at the edge is pretty much a fast way or making things much more faster than doing it at a centralized place so let's see how that turns out but yeah that's pretty much it for my five predictions plus one bonus prediction for next js 12 which will be releasing in October 2021. What do you think about my predictions? Do you have any other opinions seeing the Next.js tickets? I would love to know more in the comment section. Are you even using Next.js? If not, it's a good time to start Next.js and especially as a React developer. I would recommend full stack learning path of CodeDAM, which will be including an interactive, a fully interactive hands-on course on Next.js. The link is in the description, pinned comment. You can see where you would find it. That's all for this video. If you liked it, Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video really soon.